In January, we celebrate the many benefits of hot tea because it's hot tea month. Local tea expert and my friend Gina McAllister is here to teach us a tea thing or two. Yes. It's good to see you again. Good you had to a see big you. Christmas at Mulberry Jeans. Oh, we had a great Christmas. Absolutely awesome. I, I'm good. so appreciative of everybody who comes and sees us at the holiday season and all year long. So. Well, and you know, the tea room is there too, and it's a fun place to have a tea party. But there are lots of things. I've had you heard you speak many times now at Habitat talking about teaching us about tea because mm -hmm. most of us grew up in this culture where you just make your little sweet tea. Yes, yeah, so I started that, saying that's, that's kind of it. I mean, yeah. really it is. It is. And that's not really tea. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wanted to do a comparison. So this is what most people are used to drinking is their little bag of tea. Absolutely. So I wanted the to kind of show you the difference. So I'm going to open up this little bag of tea. I hope my scissors work because they only look like scissors most of the yeah. time. Yeah. Well, and so that kind of shows you what tea looks like. Let's you know, that this is what most people are used hold to. Hold it over here, Jean. To drinking. Can you see it? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, so that's what everybody drinks. Well, what that really is, is what I call the leavings. The leavings this, of the tea. This is real tea. Look so how beautiful. When you see the difference there, there's no comparison. And the reason that there's such a difference is because the way it's processed. This is kind of like the difference in between fresh peaches and canned peaches. Oh, and, this the, is, and the nose of this, Gina. Oh, it's amazing. That's our Emerald Charm. It's blended exclusively for us. It's my own blend. And it's a black and a green both. Because so, a lot of people so are trying to get both of those in. And the reason they're trying to get both of those in is because black tea is great for inflammation. It is a wonderful tea for inflammation. Um, and then green tea, arthritis is an autoimmune disease. Right, right. Green tea helps autoimmune. Um, so a black and green mix really helps people with arthritis. Now, how do you steep that, though? Well, it's so simple. We even have where you can have your own tea bags. Oh, I sure. mean, literally, you just put a teaspoon of tea in here and you're done. Yeah, because I've seen the little tea balls and the okay. little... Okay, I'm not a big fan I, I of the know, metal I knew tea, you weren't, yeah. tea balls, but we have got so many easy ways. So many easy ways for you to infuse tea. It's, it's as easy as a tea bag. It really is. But so much better for you. And it's really no more expensive because the tea is so fresh, you can use it two times. So, oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah. You get yeah. two cups you out of it. You can get two cups out of it and... And one of these tins is about 35 cups of tea if you only use it once. So you can get like 60 cups of tea out of one of these tins. How long do, what's your recommendation for steeping time to let it really Three get in? Three to five minutes. That? Okay. Three to five and minutes. And is it hot boiling water or is it just? Just below boiling. Okay. Just below boiling. And, and the biggest thing I want to tell people to do is store it. It needs to be stored. It does, tea does not like light, air, or fragrance. It doesn't like any of those things. If you get bitter tea, it's because it's been exposed to those things. Um, it's old tea, essentially. So that's why we were back to our sweet tea. A lot of times you don't even have to use sugar in our tea because it's not bitter. Oh, it's it so has fragrant. A, it's, it's, well, and it's fresh. It's mm -hmm. really fresh. So it's got all those nutrients, all those things that make tea so great for you. Right inside. Well, uh, one of the things I would recommend then, because so I'm sure you're sitting out there now with a thousand questions. Well, I have <laughs> migraine headaches, or I have yes, indigestion. Yes. I have all these things. Th that uh, there are there are teas for so many ailments oh, and yeah. health issues. Yeah, yeah. You know what I tell? I'm, I say I'm not a doctor, but I like to play one at the <laughs> shop. So come in and talk to me, and I'm happy to help you with that, anything that I can. The biggest thing, though, is you have to do it regularly. It's just like anything else. You can't exercise once a month and lose 50 pounds. You can't just drink tea every once in a while and it do what, it, what I'm saying it's going to help you with. You've got to be consistent with it. It's got to be every day, two to three cups a day. Um, milk is a no-no, but any other kind of sweetener is okay. It doesn't affect it. Um, it doesn't matter if you drink it hot, drink it cold. It doesn't matter how you get it in you. Just get it Just in you. Just get it in you. Robo's tea is awesome for allergies. Green tea is great for your immune system. I mean, there's just so many great things. So you can go to our Facebook page. I'm always putting information on there. You can go to mulberryjeans.com. That's got some great information. But most importantly, come see us at the shop. You'll learn so much. If you get a chance to hear her do her whole program, I recommend it with all my heart. Happy New Year, my dear. Happy New Year. Thank Let's you. Let's check in with Ron Rhodes. He loves tea, too. I do. I'm drinking some tea right now. It's uh, Earl Grey tea. But I need to get some of your tea right there. Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's leaf like scraps. <laughs> I've got a forecast that's not scraps. It's the real deal. It's the full meal coming up.